What's your favorite month to hunt whitetails? And uh, bow or gun, early season, late season. I'm Matt Drury, and this is a special Fun Fact Friday edition of DOD TV. This segment is brought to you by Analogics. Protect your herd with the power of science. We made it to yet another Friday, and we can't wait to sit here and watch a few white tails hit the ground. In this episode, we'll post up with cousin Justin, his brother Jared, and his nephew Henry. Let's see what these guys can stir up as they sit there in their muddy blind in Missouri. Hey, Tim Newman, I'm the wildlife biologist for Analogics Outdoors, and today I want to talk about fawn spots. So normally fawns lose their spots within 90 to 120 days of being born, but in some instances, the gene that codes for changing that hair to brown never gets activated. So those deer live their whole lives with their fawn spots, and it's extremely rare. It's even more rare than a piebald deer or an albino deer, but we actually had a case around Worthington at one of our test sites where we had a two and a half year old buck that is clearly still wearing his fawn spots. So if you ever see an adult deer still wearing its fawn spots, you have found something extremely rare. pressurize it like you just gotta pay attention to the weather you gotta put the work in and man has the work paid off and we did it with a five-year-old in the yes. <laughs> we got a good luck charm with henry with us man god i'm shaking like a leaf i'm so excited i haven't had this feeling in quite some time well let's go find that deer you want to see this bud We've got a buck and a doe on the ground, and now we're gonna unleash the bloodhound, and that's Henry, and put those eagle eyes to work. I want a blood tree. Hmm. Did I just blind? <laughs> I guess. I guess now he went this way. Okay, there's blood. There's blood, there's blood, that's yep. a lie. Here's some blood. Yep. There's blood. <laughs> I usually spit you. Congrats, Justy. Yeah, thank you guys. Look at that, Henry. September. Early season tag punched, buddy. Alright, September 28th. Early season success. Glad to have brother Jared here, nephew Henry in the blind with us, five years old. And I just have to enjoy this moment with family. Jared has four kids, I have four kids, we both have jobs. This is a, a hobby, but a passion of ours. And what better way to do it than to involve our kids. So what made all this come together? A, we had a 10 degree temperature drop from yesterday to today. B, and this is something we just learned recently from Uncle Mark, and that is a rising pressure. It went, when we got in the truck today, it was 30.05. By the time we got in the blind and set up, it was 30.15. That seems like a small rise, but it's, it's incremental. Lot. And it puts the deer on their feet. We saw three bucks, six does. Another thing that made this come together, last year, Justin passed this deer as a three and a half year old. This year, he's four and a half year old. So you can't kill great deer if you shoot them before they're allowed to get that big. And finally, food plot architecture. What we learned last year was the radishes are deadly. Deadly up here. I like to create food plot architecture, a half moon in front of the blind. 30 yards to the left, 30 yards in front of you, 30 yards to the right, deer radishes. Makes and, good shooting. It, yeah, and I wrapped <laughs> it with maximum an additional 
30 yards past that, 30 yards in front of you. So the food will last us hopefully All through year, hopefully. late November right. is my plan. And then potentially we can bow kill another one up here. So happiness is we got a good big joker on the ground and uh, looking forward to the remainder of the season and see if we can do it late season, late season with a little food plot architecture. Wow, what an awesome shot there, cuz. And it is always fun to live that moment and watch it through the eyes of a future generation like Henry. Well done, sir, well done. Today, you know, it's Fun Fact Friday, but you know what? We also got a pretty sweet giveaway for you. Uh, who wouldn't like a free bow? All you gotta do, hit subscribe to the Drury Outdoors YouTube channel. It's that easy. Until next time, have yourself another fun weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. You can check out this hunt in its entirety and so much more on MOTV.